was a, a, another good offensive performance night um, for the for our Hoosiers, and um, I thought we got a, what was neat about this game is uh, got to see a lot of uh, a lot of different faces out there um, throughout the throughout the entire game, which is always um, good. It's, it's great preparation for the games ahead, um, and obviously with uh, such a young basketball team. Especially with those freshmen, it gives them an opportunity to, to get some really game-like experience. Um, looking over the stats, obviously I'm thrilled with our, our 23 assists uh, to, to 34 field goals. Um, as I said last week, one of the, the greatest or one of the best things that we do is we share the ball, uh, and we, we play our best when we share the ball. Um, pleased that we got to the free throw line. Uh, Ty struggled a little bit, um, but she'll get back on track. Um, the only, I guess, uh, one area that concerns me is uh, their 15 offensive uh, rebounds, and uh, so we'll uh, we'll uh, go back to the, the uh, drawing board tomorrow with that, um, and uh, watch some film and and uh, try to correct that for for Sunday. Maybe seems a little odd to say it, uh, looking at the score, but you guys actually maybe faced a little bit of adversity tonight in terms of. Bigs got in some foul trouble. You know, shots weren't necessarily falling early. You know, it wasn't snowball rolling downhill. Right. It was a different feel tonight, for sure. Um, Ryan and I, when we were walking, I, I thought we looked a little sluggish. Um, we didn't get out of the gate as quick, uh, you know, as we, we have uh, the, the previous games. Um, not sure. I can't put a finger on why that is. Uh, maybe it's a little bit of a hangover. I think um, our kids were at the men's game last night. And, um, I mean, they celebrated, uh, stayed out a little bit too late. But uh, uh, at any rate, I agree. I, I'm not sure. Um, I think that's good for us. Um, I think it, it was good for uh, Amanda and, and Jen to have to play uh, with some, some early early fouls. Uh, I thought Mara came in and uh, did a nice job there in the, in the, in the first half particularly. Um, and then uh, Lindsay Lycan just continues to, to really play hard on both ends. Um, and is, is productive, uh, but uh, you know I think that uh, we knew coming in. You know we had a lot of respect for Morehead State. Uh, we watched them against Kentucky two days ago, and they had a big 26 point lead, and, and they got it down to 13 in the second half. Um, I think their their guard play is terrific, um, and uh, you know the message at halftime was this game was far from being over, um, and uh, you know I think that our our uh, our group kind of knew that uh, now this is, was not a team that was, was just going to quit and, uh, and stop trying to score. So um, that's good for us, though. It's good for us to face some adversity, and, and it gives us, uh, when I say us, our staff, kind of a, a snapshot of what that looks like and how we respond to that. Um, and our job is to help our players uh, with how to respond you know, when, that, when that happens. Uh, but I thought, for the most part, uh, they didn't, uh, not, I guess they did none of them bow out, so that's the positive. What about with six players in double figures and you think Tyra kind of struggled early, how much of a luxury is that to have so many people who can, who can score, you know, both inside and out? Uh, well, I think it's, it, it is a luxury. It's, it's nice to have, um, you know, as many pieces um, as we have that can shoot it from the outside. Um, I thought Carly McBride has continued just to really be a rock star off of the bench for us. I mean, she's she's shot it. You know, she has to be shooting in the, in the high 60s, 70s. From, I don't know what her percentage is right now, but uh, the kids just been lights out uh, for us. Um, and uh, you know, I'm really really pleased. I thought Lex Gassian came in. She did a tremendous job on four. Uh, their guard that was really difficult to defend. Uh, and she gave us some really good minutes. Uh, so it's nice that. Um, you know, you have games like this where you see scoring from so many different people. Um, it's a luxury to have, as you mentioned, um, and hopefully, uh, you know, it's something that we can continue just to build on. And uh, you know, I know for one thing, it gives uh, those players in there a lot of confidence because they're surrounded by um, teammates that have the ability to, to score, and that's uh, that's good. Jen looked particularly dominant down low tonight. Um, it was a different game when she was in on the floor. Uh, what do you have to say about her performance? I thought it was terrific. Uh, we really thought that uh, that we had an advantage on the inside, um, and uh, that was part of our game plan was to, to get the ball to Jen. Um, you know, their post play uh, against Kentucky, 
some of their bigs got into foul trouble. We thought that uh, you know we could we could do the same by trying to, to get the ball into Jen as much um, um, as we could. And I thought to, you know give our give our guards credit uh, for uh, finding her. Give Jen credit for going up, and she made a you know a couple of really nice uh, moves. But uh, the thing that I've been impressed with Jen is just her her composure, uh, her soft hands. Um, she is a load in there to guard. And we're, we have to have great balance. Uh, we talk about the scores on the outside, but we gotta have some, an, an inside presence. Um, and she gives us that. And uh, you know, obviously, uh, KO can stretch the defense. Uh, we gotta get Lycan down the low wide. Believe it or not, she's really good when they're back to the basket. She just doesn't play there enough. And, uh, and hang out in the low block enough. She wants to face up, but uh, uh, she's a really good. She's just a really good basketball player. We need to utilize her a little bit more, I think, on the low block um, to give Jen some, Jen some help. Has it been difficult to get? You know, obviously this group really likes to shoot from the outside. Has it been difficult to kind of get them to, you know, try and get the ball inside and drive? And get it Has it been difficult? I think that they still, um, they still kind of, from time to time, will revert back to their habits of. And have space, and, you know, when you shoot this three. Um, the thing that we've just tried to continue to encourage them is that we, we know that you guys can shoot it. We, we, uh, we have confidence that our kids can shoot it, but uh, as I said last week or two days ago, we can get the same three at the 12 second shot clock or in 12 seconds in the shot clock that we can get at 24. You know, if we. Uh, uh, the thing that I want our kids to, to understand is that the more the, the more pressure that you put on the defense, the easier those kickouts become uh, for us, and and, um, and that's good basketball. But you know, it's it's really hard to um, to argue tonight when you look at our assists that uh, um, you know they're sharing the ball. Um, pretty overwhelming victory, um, score wise, but. It looked like there were some things you could improve on. What it, what would you point out? It, there's always, you know, you look at that that 15 offensive rebounds, and that uh, those are the statistics that keep coaches up at night, trying to figure out how we can, uh, what what our game plan is tomorrow. You know, what what uh, what, what sort of rebounding drills are we going to do to to convince uh, our our group that um, contact boxing out is important? And uh, uh, we're great shooters, but we're not great athletes. And so we're not going to out jump anybody. Um, maybe Jen might not out jump just because she's bigger. The, the ball may fall in her hands. But our guards, we're going to really have to be disciplined and and, um, and and sound and getting making contact with the player that we're supposed to be boxing out uh, and forcing the official to have to call uh, make a call. Um, you know because uh, we're doing a great a good enough job. Um, so those are things that. Um, you know, there's always things. I mean, I thought that we still took some uh, some quick threes. Uh, I thought that uh, uh, from defensively we had some breakdowns still. Um, our gap defense was better tonight. Our rotations were uh, average, and those are things that we, we will continue to work on. Um, I don't know that we'll ever play a perfect game. There were a lot of good things that happened tonight. Um, and I think there are things that we build on and we continue to work. Um, but it's early in the season. We kind of, we kind of know that we haven't got this whole thing figured out yet. Good. Thank Thanks, you. Guys.